New stair types are available in the draw panel for creation, including straight run, full step spiral, center end spiral, L shape, U shape winder stair, and create sketch. To create an L shape winder, we'll select the L shape winder stair, choosing assemble stair for type, leaving both location line and automatic landing option the way it is. You can mirror the winder stair. You can press spacebar to rotate the shape of the winder run so the turn is facing the required direction. Click to place a winder stair. You have the same manipulation controls as creating a straight run or switchback stair. You can drag various controls to add or remove risers and treads, adjust the riser start and end location, and the width of the stair. You'll notice that the tread and risers on the winder stairs are not parallel. At certain instances, you might want to customize them to fit your project needs. Before clicking Finish Edit Mode, there are various options to modify the winder steps. When you select the run, in the Properties palette, you'll see different parameters under Winders, including Winder Style, where you can choose between balance or single points. For certain country, the inside walk line offset and minimum width on inside walk line parameter are required for code check. If you want to keep a minimum width on the inside run of your stair, you can specify that at the minimum width on inside boundary. Let's go ahead and keep it the minimum to 6 inches. Fill it on corner. Let's check that parameter and specify 6 inches for radius. To create parallel treads, the default is set to 2 in the beginning and end. Let's change that to 13 at the beginning and 3 at the end. As you can see, the treads and risers are now parallel to the run. Click Finish to complete the stair. Additional stereotypes help support different region needs for modeling and documenting.